Welcome back to Age of Wonders 4, where we are working on the Grey Wizard achievement. So we're currently building out our halfling kingdom. And we'll end our turn. Guild Mistress Helgi Guildmaster of the Free City of Kragmar is enthused about meeting us for the first time. So that's great. Okay, you're not talking to anyone yet. We really don't have enough uh, Whispering Stones. I would like to have all the Whispering Stones in the world to talk to all these nice people. But I think we already got all the ones that we could possibly have. Didn't we? No, there's another one. The Court of Whispers could could, could give us another one. Um, what do we take? Teleporter Province would be nice. But we'll get it eventually anyway. Um, let's get the road building going. That might help us a little bit. And beyond that, we're going to save up a little bit more. Right, now let's end our turn. Okay, now we can boost and hopefully get past Orange here. I'll just wait for our turn. Let's boost. Okay, we're at least on equal footing now. So that's something. All right, our outpost has been built and we want to add the stone walls and the work camp. Let's put our people in our own realm so they can heal up a little bit before we do anything new. And maybe we summon ourselves an entwined protector into one of these armies to reinforce them a little bit move them north to deal with the infestation roaming our lands actually we might send this army south and give that hero we have two heroes in one army currently which isn't ideal so we'll give them their own army You don't need orders. You need to stand where you are. Okay. Uh, what to next next? I think we'll get the mines here. That way we have two mines next to each other. Ooh, got a unicorn out of it. We need to be careful bringing that thing home. Because the infestation will absolutely try and take it. All right, Aegis, let's build you a stonemason. A Masonic Hall, a mint, a granary. Let's build you a granary. granary. Let's get you growing even bigger, even faster. An herbalist would be nice. Domain with forest or swamp adjacent counts as a conduit uh, we have the sacred meadow here which improves with conduits around it so if we take this and put that thing there that would be a good idea so in seven turns we might consider it if i remember by then which is very unlikely to be honest all right you're doing your thing oh the free city can be integrated now we i was thinking about it but we're building our own city right now so we're not going to do it and we're far off from being able to get this one again. Well, not so far off, honestly. We might. Okay, you're fine. All right, why are you trespassing on my boys?
I think I'm going to go unlock the teleporter thing. Because with the realm as large, we will need some outposts to just be teleporter outposts, really. And I think once we've cleared the infestation from our lands here, this is what their job's going to be like. They're going to walk around and, and clear out. Build us some teleporter network around with outposts. I think that's good. All right, let's go explore the Lost Queen's Crypt. It is sad only fools will disturb the eternal bedchambers of the Queen of Sarith the Herbalist. This, however, does not stop us. In the center of the tomb, we find a large altar with several preserved corpses draped around and decorated queen. Looking like sleeping lovers even after centuries of being buried, suddenly the decorated corpse stirs and opens her eyes, her undead lovers following suit. Welcome, intruders, Sarith the Herbalist grins. Have you come to ignite the flames of passion with your essence? Um, we are not going to give them people. We will simply fight them. Though we might lose some stuff here. Um, we'll see what auto combat does. But I know that... <laughs> yep. This is a difficult battle because you've got to kill the, the, the leader. That's what you gotta do. And the AI isn't isn't all that isn't clued in, let's say. It isn't clued in. It doesn't understand that. So uh we'll put our defensive boys there. Turn them slightly like that. Do this. Bring our archers behind. Our support can go here. These supports can go there. These go there. And we turn a little and we don't need to spur anyone to action. We'll simply do this. And our knights will just leave on this end here. We'll put them there. Actually, go for bolstering. These guys don't need to do anything, so they just defend. And we'll end our turn there. So we need to kill the hero. That's, that's all we gotta do, basically. But something that has helped me in the past... Is there any flora to animate? No, there isn't. But we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of these things. To protect us here. Well, they all came out behind us, so that's not, that's not ideal. That's really not ideal. That's just blocking my own path. <laughs> all right, we'll s we'll try and seduce them. They resisted, but they are now distracted. We're not going to go in there. We'll let them come. And while we wait, we will summon nothing. We will summon nothing because I boxed myself in. Ay ay ay. Well, the only way out is forward. Oh my god, what did I do? Let's end the turn. And let's summon this here. So it makes a little bit more sense. That was decent. Let's kill them. I don't know why we missed there. Let's kill them. Let's kill them. The problem is they're gonna resurrect. We do need to we, we do need to get to the ruler. But they're not coming. Uh, let's let's move a little bit forward. Let's move these over here. And our ruler can't do anything. No one here can do anything. So we possibly condemned our people there. So the living vines just kind of move. 
At least they weren't seduced, so that's something. Uh, ouch. Okay. Right. So. Let's do that. Destroy them. When can you seduce again? In one turn. So you'll attack here. You will simply go ahead and... Can you summon them in a minute? No, you can't, you can't do anything. You are... All right, we can do two spells this turn. Not exactly what I wanted, but fair enough. And these guys are gonna attack this thing with the spirit weakness. You guys are simply gonna defend further. And you guys will send to attack these. And then we'll get you some defensive vines. And since we can do it again, we'll add even more vines. Really clog this battlefield up. So they don't know what's gonna hit them. Alright, and we're gonna hit the ruler directly. And we're gonna summon a whole bunch more vines up there to box everyone in, ideally. Alright, these are now flanked. So we'll fight there. Let us try and seduce. 44% mind controlled. Let's try and seduce these 60% chance. Yep, very good. That worked out. I mean, we do have to kill everyone in eventually, but um, okay, we we can we can finally summon some. No, yeah, okay, we can. All right, we'll have these attack that. Some infighting. Let's turn. Yeah, yeah. Attack the vines. And joy. We'll get some more out for you to play with. I will leave these boys there, just because I'm feeling that we might not actually have the enemy resurrected because they're standing there. So I think that's good. Um, we'll shoot the war beast. Let's bring these in a little bit closer. Can our hero kill this thing? Maybe. We'll try anyway. And we'll bring the pig around that way. Oh. Okay. These were summoned out of one of those crypts that's glowing. All right, that's good to know. So let's take this down real quick. Can't summon the elemental because we're in the zone of control. We'll just leave the zone of control. Can't summon the elemental, so we'll just destroy these. Uh, you attack them. You attack them. 
You attack them. You attack them too. And you guys just keep sitting there looking pretty. What can we do? Animate flora. Can we do that with our vines? No. What can we do? I mean, these are cheap to summon, so I think we'll get another batch up here. Just to make sure our knights stay safe as they try their best to deal with the enemy. <coughs> So the war breed has returned. As I said, we need to kill that thing there. We'll just stand these there to take the damage from the war breed. And can we seduce the war breed? We'll try. Oh, it worked. Good stuff. That's fantastic. But I don't think we can turn we can move it at this turn. Alright, hero, uh summon your elemental. And we'll summon it on this side. And yeah, we could attack this, but I mean should we? Sure. All right, let's bring these over here. Turn them slightly so they are less likely to be flanked, hopefully. Wait. Did I break the seduction on these? I think. All right, okay. The hero moved, so this is good for us. This is good for Bitcoin. Let's... Go and try and just kill the ruler. There we go. That takes care of most, if not all of it. You just gotta know this about this script. You gotta kill the queen. Alright, we have defeated the undead queen and her lovers. The question rises once more and claps her hand. The queen rises once more and claps her hands, impressed. Her raspy voice once again echoes through the lost queen script. You have impressed me, the wandering wanderer. Not many are able to do so. You have ignited passions within me. I had long forgotten for that. I wish to thank you. The lich queen bows. I'm yours, as is my wealth. I no longer have need of it. So we could recruit her into our recruitment pool. Uh, we could get the hero item Mana Siphoner. Um, rest forever, Sarith, the herbalist. That is all I can ask. Indeed, we'll we'll put her down. <laughs> we'll put her out of her misery. Let's move into our own territory to heal up during rounds. Let's try and bring these home without being eaten by the enemy. Which might be a little bit more difficult than I think. You guys can stay there. You guys can also stay there. Stay there. Nothing for you to do. Temple of Fertility was researched. Next thing. Ah, yes. Um, the Tome of Teleportation. I do enjoy that one a lot. What else do we have? Vigor, summon greater animal, and empower beasts. Uh, we need to do this, sadly, because do we have a bunch of beasts to empower? Absolutely. The unbridled power of the herd thundering over the plain. Let's see, you need a tavern. Clearly. And... Then we'll be able we could build a seed of nature. Your pack with the force of nature itself. That might be a good idea. We'll build it there. Right next to the city. Uh, 
And we can summon the protector, which I wanted to put on this army. Trade proposal. Ah, there we go. He comes with his defensive pact request himself. Very good. What else can we do? Share vision? Sure. Everything else we don't really need at this point. Meeting the humble gray square. All right. You are vassals to our friend here. Yeah, we are we're surpassing the others there quite a bit, so that's good. Can't afford boosting. Message received. That's just banter. We don't care about banter. We're not here for small talk. We are here for big walk with our tiny hairy feet or big hairy feet depending on how you look at it. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's clear out some more stuff here. Let's bring this army closer so they can participate in the battle, making it even easier for us. Oh, very good. Some level ups. Nice. You didn't get one, though. Shame. You did, though. Level 10. What do you get? Mass Rejuvenation. I like that one. And you get poison weapons, I think. Oh, yeah, we could give you the frost shield, I think. That's probably a good idea. Instead of just leaving it laying around doing nothing. Might as well be helpful. Can I move you? Yeah. It's not going to be enough. Did our ruler level up? Yeah, they did. So much stuff. Animal handler. Though you don't even have any animals in your army, we need to re uh, remedy this. There are some am animals coming that we can give you. You need orders. Yeah, you are here to take care of that. It's basically all the reason we sent you north. So please do it. Well done could go further further north and try and take care of that thing but that might be a little bit out of our competency range oh they need a person uh you get what do you have you get the archer and the unicorn can go home now All right, what do we have here? Should we build a teleporter? They're costly. So maybe not now. Um, let's get Arcane Institute, the Masonic Hall, the Market. Let's just build a little bit of a range here. What should we put in this? Stone walls, mint, Masonic hall. Let's start with the Masonic hall so everything else is hopefully a little bit quicker. Definitely these two as well. Like that. Answer a call to war. Okay. Um, okay, you are asking us from the defensive pact. Um, relation with other rulers go up. Everyone likes us a little bit better. So, yeah, we'll, we'll accept your call to war. Do we have... Yeah, 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 yeah. We can actually help. We can actually help. We can send all this right across the water to there. We can indeed help a little bit. We were complimented, complimented... 
other rulers breaking their alliance. We received a message. Yeah, sure. Would you like a defensive pact? Yeah, only for money. I'm not giving you money for free. We accepted a call to war and we were insulted probably by the guy against whom we accepted the call to war. I would figure. Oh, it's a good thing we didn't come in there to land and help because we would have been quite obliterated, I believe. Oh, we don't know the strength of this. Nah, it's not too bad. We would have been fine. So speaking of which, let's end this battle here. We'll absolutely grant mercy. You are free to go, my dear creatures. Let's move in this direction so we can take that wolf with this army here. Oh, no, we can't. Well, next turn then. We'll 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 go help our ally. Don't you worry. Eventually we will. And we'll send these further north to take care of that infestation that keeps sending stuff. Oh, empowered beasts. Yes, totem of the wild. I like those things. This will just summon and summon and summon creatures. We'll take uh, this here. It's not an ideal initial stake. Um, but look at what we get out of it. That's just amazing. Oh, and we got a little spider that can live there as the patron spider of this city. All right. What's next for us? There's a lot over here which we could get. Cities gain plus five mana for each research. Yeah, we'll we'll save up a little bit for this. Though we can't because we're gonna build this city soon, so that costs us something. Um let's build Let's turn it immediately into a city. Not worthwhile. So we annexed it again, so we get another creature out of it, which you know I think is kind of fun. Let's put it in this army. And now we can annex all the other stuff around here too. So this here is a good thing, I think. Research, uh, we'll put, what do we put there? A research post, sure. Uh, let's put a mine on the mine and that's that. Let's get a temple of fertility in 38 turns or we build it immediately. Uh, I think we'll just start with a storehouse and hurry production for that. And then we'll build a workshop and leave it there. And now we give a leader. Who do we have left? Her. Ladwina Kingfisher. And she will take care of Florin. I like that. That's a nice city name. Um, okay, now we can start this battle with this one pig. Very good. Taking care of business here. And this little piggy just kind of joins this little spider. <laughs> they don't have a mascot yet. I think we'll send the little piggy over there. That'll be the mascot piggy there. Answer another call to war against blue. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we were friendly, but I have a deal here. You could have had one with me, but you never did. So they're far away, so it's not really much of an issue to us. Hey, would you like an alliance, maybe, at this point? No. Nah. But we sure should have open borders now. Teleporter packed if we can. 
Like, I don't have teleporters, but maybe you do. Let's do that. Let's get all the deals now. And would you like to give me focus crystals for 160 gold? Don't I have those already? I thought I had all those already. Let's check. No, I have those. It's a unique effect. Stacking them doesn't help us. We could just get them to, you know... Get more. Trade it elsewhere, basically. That's what that would be okay for. So much untamed wilderness up here still. We have a good position, I think, in this world. Just need to clear out all those infestations that make our lives difficult. We have 21 turns left. We get loyalty in two. Which is here. Yeah, I'm fine with you attacking me. I came for you anyway. Oh no, we lost a little boy. Let's replace that boy with the unicorn. Uh, conquer Tinkerbur. We have saying uh, the rivalry between our cities and generations. Yet any attempts is peaceful. Um, I decree you both shall be united as friends under my protection instead. I wish I could take that, but I don't have the Imperium for this. Uh, all right, I I hear you. I'll go for Tinkerbur. Where is Tinkerbur? Okay, that's. There. That's through this underground passage. Mm. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, okay, let's uh, split these armies now. And let's give our rulers some animals. Let's take these out. And these out. Over there. You get the big pig, and you get the big spider, and you guys will divvy up like this. So now we have a bunch of armies here to take care of Tinkerbur. And you keep going to your destination, please. You guys need orders. Yes, indeed you do. Let's see if we can't bring up the unicorn first. So we'll wait. Oh, we can annex a new thing. Did I have anything specifically in mind that I wanted to annex here? I don't quite remember, so I'm just going to say probably not. Could put another farm there. What do we need? More quarries? Another farm here? Another farm there? Well, that would be a good farm. Let's build that farm. And Do we have a city without an animal companion yet? I don't think so. We'll just add them to the wolf here. Magic origin unit upkeep is reduced by minus 20%. Let's do that and watch our mana income skyrocket because we have a whole lot of magic origin units. Another call to war. You are literally fighting everyone right now, are you? Alright, fine. It's not ideal. It's not how I wanted this to go, but as long as we don't have war on our continent directly, that's fine. Can we get to Tinkerbur through this underground passage too? Yes, we can. Alright. So we don't have to go this far. Uh 
let's build some roads this way. Can't go over the mountain with the road, but we'll go as far as we can. Go to Aegis. Be the Pegis of the Aegis. Probably should build an army here now that we have a thing there to defend. So, Blade Runner, this, Bannerman, Defender, and an Archer. That'll be the army defending up here. You guys keep going north to take care of that infestation there. You built a tavern, so you're slightly less annoyed with life. Let's get a tithe shrine going. And afterward... I don't know, we didn't build these proper here. <laughs> Nothing good going on. Could put an herbalist on the conduit. Yeah. That'll work. Let's do that. And I'm thinking of recruiting more here, but we are not. You will build a mint. We will need the money. Alright, what do we in next? Something with growth. We'll take the pastures here. And another piggy joins the army. And we'll now empower our beast, which will cost us dearly, but it'll make them so much better. 20% damage, 10 hit points, demolisher, decrease numbers, information. That's not ideal, but... Well, we are one with the beasts. We're really not earning as much as I would like in terms of Imperium. But that's my fault. I keep forgetting to upgrade our wizard tower. Did I tell you to auto expand? Let's go for manual. I don't like it when they do that. Piggy, your long journey will soon be at an end. We'll build the road as far as we can go. I know I can't build a road over there. Honestly, our movement range is just atrocious. All right, let's get in here as far as we can. Once we enter the infestation, one of these things is probably going to come for us, which is fine for me. And this big spider goes there for now. You guys just keep staying there. Summon greater animal. Minor race transformation for super growth. Yeah. Plus one retaliation attack. I think we'll do that. Okay, what can we next? More mana income and research. I think we'll take it. Another little spider boy can live in the spider world. Another annexation here. What should we take? Anything interesting? All ah, right, I, I did want to put something here. I think I wanted to do another farm here. Or a forester. What did I want to do? Let's check our special stuff again. Now, I wanted to do something there. So I could put the herbalist next to it.
Now, what did I want to do? I want to do something smart up here, and I already forgot again. Per adjacent with forest or swamp. No, I think I just wanted to put the herbalist here, so it doesn't really matter what we put. We'll put a forest there. And then we'll build the herbalist on that. Right there. Another big spider. Bring it that way. New empire development skills are available. Ah, good stuff. Cities that share a border with Throne City gain 10% of all type of income. That is great. We'll do that. Immediately big boost. Because I think most do share a border. We gotta annex this next with whatever where we can annex. So we share that border. Improve our income. I don't think we'll get a shared border here, but that's okay. Not that Ruda was denounced. Sure, sure, sure. Would we like an alliance now? I mean, you're at war. Have have the money. That's fine. Have that money. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> trying to get there. Given how slow we are. <laughs> so we'll walk one over. Once we can. Start building roads again. Like that. Now we can build roads again. And we'll move over there. So ideally, uh -huh. these guys will also kind of make it over there. God. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. Let's get you in there. Let's get you in there. And you guys will put there close to our allies. So maybe if you are attacked, the ally will join. Helping to defend. You guys just sit there. We'll build a glade runner and that. And that. So we got a little army sitting here. We have been announced. Other rulers forged an alliance. Fine by me. You are dealing with Idgard, the world bender. Oh, dwarven ally and friend. Come on, infestation, attack us. Yeah, there it's coming. I don't want to fight it like this. Uh, we'll wait for the infestation to come and destroy their own units on us. Like that. Alright, let's sh make sure we actually have movement points when we go under there. So we're not immediately destroyed by the enemy as we arrive. Though those are small cities, those don't actually... Or, well, this is hard difficulty. Maybe they do. So let's bring down our armies as best we can. These might still work. I mean, it's just one pig, but what will you do? You can't go down yet. You just keep sitting there and wait. Wait. Super growth. Create forest. Should we get both these for our few scouts left? I think we should. Oh, we can pick a new tome. And um, I think... Druid of the Cycles are pretty strong. I think we might just do that. So we could also put that on all our cities there. Diffuse Death. Nah. 
We want to research the units. Now let's go with the blacksmith. And... Temple of Fertility, maybe? No, we need more defense. What's going on here? Oh, 25 defense on the city. Uh, let's build some stone walls. You produce the mint. Let's build this and then the stone walls. I just don't want to be caught out without any proper defenses anywhere. Oh, let's build a castle there. And a vendor after. Let's get you. Should I get you? A blacksmith. And a sacred meadow. Counts as a farm. Give stability per adjacent conduit. So we could take that as a farm and put that there. And then change the research pulse to a conduit as well to help it. I'm thinking of teleporters, but I just... I don't know. It'll be a while until we can actually get them, so I think we're going to do it. So we'll build the teleporter there. Let's start building some teleporters. Honestly, everyone gets one in their queue. We need them. And we'll put this teleporter there on that quarry. Midway there and there, so we don't need the teleporter for both cities. Or we can rather put a teleporter more in this direction. So we have more movement options. So we'll put it on that quarry there. Just a little bit more room to wiggle. Florin definitely needs a teleporter because they are kind of terribly outside any range and we'll put it on the research post yeah could have gotten to the enemy through this underground passage I don't think so alright rally of the lieges nah we have time we don't need to use it right now free city can be integrated integrated whispering stones are returning meaning we can go underground and find those City said no one was talking to before, right? Still no one talking to you? Nice. Have a whispering stone. Let's become friends. No one but us found you. Yeah? Alright, let's end our turn here. Yes, I am well aware that you guys still have movement. Actually, this bird might wreck us, but if it works out, we just get in a fight like this. That would be pretty ideal. Yep, that's kind of what we wanted. Especially since we're still standing here close to our allies, so they joined us in that battle. And now we can take care of that infestation there. Sell extra produce for this year's harvest. What is this? The harvest in the domain of our city of Hartholder has been bountiful this year. It's well known for impressive agriculture, and now it has outdone even itself. Food stalls turn the grand square into a maze filled with... Aromas and flavors as children parade the streets with basket full of latest yield. There is no doubt that all of the other rulers are in awe of the display of prosperity. How do we wish to do this? So we sell it to get money. We give to the poorest families. Throw lavish parties. Uh, commemorate the laborers for their hard work. I think we'll donate the access of this year's harvest to the poorest families. That sounds like something we would do. Alright, let's get in here and deal with this army. Let's clear this out. Once and for all, I will take any loss that we incur. Sadly, another unicorn had to go. Uh, we could put an outpost here with a teleporter next to Bandit's Way. And I think we're actually going to do that. 
Ah, it's too close, so we would have to go here to build the outpost. And then potentially an next bandit's way. All right, let's move in. Let's move in. Orders are required. You are supposed to go down as well, I think. So down you go. Join your people. Actually, we could shorten our way a little bit here. Let's learn how to excavate. And click this unit again. So we'll just <laughs> dig our way to Tinkerbur. Okay, we produce the Glade Runner. He just can annex a new province. What should we take? What should we take? Um, another farm here? <laughs> All the many farms. Maybe another quarry on that underground passage there. And we'll send the warg down to join the pig. All right, what can we annex? Some production, maybe? Or another farm? I think we'll go this way, and we'll go with the production on the iron deposit first. You just go sit there. As long as I can afford having all these units just kind of scattered around, I will do so. Once I can't, I'll have to change my ways. But for the moment, that's all fine. Are you leading a city? I don't think you are. So, we'll get you poison weapons. Did we not get better? No, we didn't. Where's our, our shield lady? I don't think you have a helmet. Oh, you have a helmet, actually. Do you have a helmet? You have a crown. Huh? We definitely have a helmet. So we might as well give that helmet to one of these guys that we have running around here. Do you have a helmet? No. So you get this helmet of the warrior. It's not exactly good for you, but it's also not bad for you. We were denounced. Sure. I think the south is fixing to come for us. So I think we're going to give Thistle down some troops. And some really good and expensive troops. But I don't want anything coming for us. So Thistle down, you get all this. A gift from me. Just so you withstand it. And next we will need to reinforce Castellan. On the next rally. I would like my southern borders to be well protected with our vassals here. Will we get this Pact of Vassalage in seven turns? And we have 14 left, so that's fine. All right, I wanted to go here. Found that outpost. And then I wanted to go explore that. All right, okay, so let's go this way now. And while we stand around like that, we can just clear out more stuff. Druid of the Cycle. Unleash the Beast might be a good thing. Because we actually got a whole bunch of... Let's build this. We need the Imperium income, finally. And... Do we go for the next one? Yeah, we'll go for the next one too. Let's just build it out. Let's have this. 
All right, so we have a few teleporters now. Well, we have one. <laughs> Let's end our turn. And I think next turn we'll be stopping for today. Right, the large maps are much less eventful than the others. I can't even imagine going on a larger map. Maybe... No, I don't, I don't know why I would go on an even larger map. I really don't see the point. It's... This is already very big. Because the distance determines how large the map is. So that's all kind of weird. Oh, look. They're standing out there for us to fight. Good thing. We'll do just that. Let's bring in our troops. Everyone nice and neatly stacked. Mm -hmm. So we can now have this fight. Like that. So they don't contribute in defending in the siege. What did I click? Damn it. Uh, right, we'll just do an auto combat and watch as it goes. Um, the outcome should be roughly the same. So we'll see how our AI deals with all this. So much buffing going on. And of course, always sending in creatures very early without any support. It can jump, it can go, it goes, it jumps, basically. That's what's happening there. Might actually lose something. I don't know. Um, we have enough healing in our spell arsenal and our armies, so... I sure hope that won't happen. Plus, we can always stop and take over if we feel like... The AI is doing weird stuff. But so far it's looking okay. Not sure what that was supposed to be about, but as I said, the AI loves to do weird stuff. Moving our troops. I mean, it should go well. Looks like it will. Finally, some regeneration on our spider. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why we even lost the unit. Did we lose the unit? Looks like this is working out fine. Absolute killer, that hero. Just takes out everything. So now it's just clearing out that fleeing unit there. And a lot of buffing. Because it just... just it loves to buff. Alright, well done. I did click on retry, didn't I? I sure did. Alright, let's move... 
toward the infestation, maybe? Oh, that's 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 the enemy. Elder Storm, Root of Order, Root of Order. I don't care. You can have those. All right, let's build a work camp. So we can take bandits' weight. And I don't need help from brigands like you. I'll clear these ruins myself. And we'll do an auto combat. That should work out fine. Yep. It did. So let's see. After dealing with the bandits, Chana Brickhead can search the ruins. She is quickly joined by the former bandit leader. The stranger sighs as she sees the bodies of her former comrades. Shame. They were decent cronies while it lasted. She leads Janna Brickhead to a secret room hidden behind walls. Uh, anyways, here's the stash. Some fine loot too. Even a lightning sword. The name Perga the Vicious, by the way. Should our pass cross again? Perga the Vicious leads Janna into a room filled with bandit loot. Ta-da! I'll leave you to it! She quickly fills her pockets with gold and attempts to leave. Um... We could use a bold leader like you in the future. I mean, why not? Allow the soldiers of China to loot what they want? Nah, we could use a bold leader like you in the future, I think. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Masonic Hall, all good. We're working on the right things. Outpost founded. These cost us 10 gold upkeep, but that is fine. I would like to have this. Movement cost on friendly units in our domain is reduced by 2 points. That's quite strong. Spells can now be cast for the first turn in combat. Also quite strong. Also quite strong. Uh, how much does this cost us? 400. This costs us 150, setting us by quite a bit. All right. I will keep you guys. I don't I don't care to sell you. We were insulted, denounced, negotiation succeeded with Kregmar. Very good. Alright, let's keep going. All right, the infestation is attacking us. That's okay. We lost nothing and gained a level. Infestation is still coming for us. All right, let's do the level up. Oh, that wasn't her. Uh, which one of you leveled up? You're gonna tell me. I know you do. All right, level 10, what do you get? You get to summon an animal. You're a friendly sort. Let's get you fighting extra damage. Not that you need it, but it doesn't hurt. All right. Um, let's clear this out real quick. Ah, oh, we lost the Vorg. That's okay. Now uh, let's clear this out behind us real speedily and hastily. Ah, come on. Let's start. We might lose some stuff, but I don't want this in my back in a siege. Locket of channeling. That's not a super great item, but we'll take it anyway. Let's move our troops so they're nice and close to one another. Let's see, we can probably give her the Locket of Channeling. And let's get you Undying Loyalty. So you can prevent someone from dying. None of you need orders. Well, you kind of kind of do. Um... This place will build 
a teleporter eventually and i think it's much more efficient for these two to just kind of sit there and wait until the teleporter is built instead of trying to move them otherwise and you will sit there for the moment on the beast okay cycle of seasons i want this goes for uh cities and it gives in the domain uh various seasons and these are just nice little helpers for each turn in battle so defending our homelands that's a good thing for that Let's get some Ballista Towers because they're quick. And a Monolith. And the Grand Estate Hall. Right. How is he doing anyway? Not great. Does he have teleporters? I don't think so. So I can't really quickly come and help him. I'll come avenge you. How about that? Oh, we can annex another province. And we'll definitely take the mine. I had some plans here, I think. I wanted to put a farm there. So we'll put a farm there. I remember I wanted to put a farm there. I don't exactly remember why. I think for one of the special improvements. For the Sacred Meadow. Yeah, right. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put the Sacred Meadow there. And then I wanted to change this to a conduit. So we get all the benefits. All right. Stand together. Nah, it doesn't really. Let's give them strength training. Everyone does more damage. We'll end the turn. And we'll get to Tinkerbur. In just a moment there. Now that we've cleared out all the riffraff down here. Let's go there and bring these there and these over here and them over there. There's actually nothing left to defend them. Well, there's one army. One army doing its very bestest. Dist. Cycle of Seasons is lovely. We're going to give that to everything. Restore the land. We don't really need parting gifts. Till the end of a battle, when every friendly unit dies, all other friendly units are healed. Uh, definitely that. Ballista Towers, you're still recruiting, building. That's fine. Let's get ourselves a Druid of the Cycle already. It takes a while to get, so we might as well start on it. Let's give this to Castellarn. I said needed some reinforcements. Ah, yes. Now we get to the good stuff here. Um... Conduit farm. We'll build a farm there. Another little spider. Heart Hollow can go for another province. What do we get? What do we get? Ah, yeah, I wanted to close this distance, so we'll do like that. So now we get extra income from this city as well. All right, let's go. Highborn ambitions. We are summoned by Center Stake, but we are not greeted by Chieftain Verin Skulltorch. Instead uh, of resuming diplomatic ne negotiations, his eldest daughter hails us. Good. 
Today, I am Lavender Skull Torture of Center Stake. I believe the rule of my father's is failing. Fortunately, I'm eager and capable to step in, but I fear that um, the transition might prove arduous. I will make a better ally than my father. Will you support the scheme? Um, no, I'm I'm not I'm not helping that. I'm above such things. All right, let's start the siege. Oh god, 12 turns. Um, wait. Let's unlock another siege slot first. Just to make this a little bit easier. So we'll get Onagas, walls, and battlements broken. So this shaved a good five turns off of uh, this siege. It's a well-protected place down here. As they tend to be, the underground dwelling folk. Alright, so now we got this going. Seven turns. How long do we have for that? Twenty. Okay, that's fine. You need orders, you just stay there and defend. Alright, we'll build a teleporter now. <clears throat> and we will annex the bandit's way. Research and Imperium. And we get a reinforcement dog. Nice. Alright, what do we build? Room of Recall. Allows us to teleport our ruler back. Probably not the worst idea. Or the Wizard Tower Apex. Let's do that. What does a teleportation circle do? Oh, everyone gets to teleport to our throne city. Then we don't even need this anymore. Or we'll leave it for now. I've played this far too long not to know this, honestly. But here we are. <laughs> Such is life sometimes. Is there anything interesting for us to annex? I do want to go a little bit this way to open up more options there, so we'll put the farm there. And bring in this spider. So, so many spiders. Aegis can annex something new. Is there anything I wanted in specific? Not really, so we can basically take anything we want. Let's get another worry maybe or another forester we don't have many of those yet let's put another forester there and the big spider as a reward all right and with that we'll leave it here for today thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like leave a comment and we'll see you to the next time until then Bye-bye.